Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Know Before You Go, a broadcast briefing powered by JSA. I'm your host, Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA. So what is Know Before You Go? It is your show that covers everything you need to know before heading to that next amazing industry event. We're talking insider talking points all the way to conference logistics. And today, we are laser focused on DCD Connect Virginia 2024, taking place really soon, November 6th through the 7th, at the Lansdowne Resort and Spa in Leesburg, Virginia. And over my shoulder, guys, by the way, is that QR code, uh, so you can get right to that site uh, as we're speaking. All right, here to talk about this upcoming conference is Dan Lusmore, CEO of Data Center Dynamics. Dan, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me back in the studio. Uh, we are thrilled to have you, and I know time is uh, is really crazy for you right now, so thank you so much for, for making some time for our audience today. We so appreciate it. And let's go ahead and jump right in. What are the key themes and industry trends that we can expect at DCD Connect Virginia this year? Great question. I probably won't surprise you guys too much with the answer. We've been working together at Yotta just a couple of weeks ago with the JSA team. We had 1,500 people in Vegas. You guys did a huge activation for, for Velco at the Hackersan. Uh, that was great networking. So thank you for that, Team JSA. Um, and now we've had OCP this week. I've got a whole team at the OCP event. And so the themes themselves may not be all that surprising. We're going to be having more conversations around this huge paradigm shift that AI creates for our industry around sustainability, particularly in data center alley. Obviously, there's plenty to get stuck into there. And, and around the, the different design ramifications that these that these big shifts require, looking into liquid cooling and, and the next generation of data center design. So probably, you know, nothing revolutionary on, on the content front, but we think we've got some formats, 150 expert speakers to make it interesting and make sure that everyone in attendance can really maximize their time. And, you know, you're, you're talking Virginia. Um, and uh, there's, you know, of course, I'm, I'm a little biased. I love Virginia. But, uh, but how does DCD Connect Virginia really address this growing importance locally and globally of sustainability and green data center practices? Yes, yeah, it's a great question. And it's, it's an issue that we won't fully solve over the over the three day event, of course. But one of the things we believe in at DCD is, is first of all, transparency and debate and discussion. So we've got plenty of workshops on sustainability and ESG. We've got the infrastructure masons there with us again. They've just released, of course, the open letter on the climate accord to try and generate more transparency around scope three, which is the next frontier for data center sustainability, if you like. Um, we've also got the local environmental groups coming in. We think discourse is important, data centers in public perception and maybe a bit of an easy target. And actually, it's maybe easy to miss in, in the mainstream press and coverage, the great work that's already been achieved by the industry as we strive towards net positive. So open discourse around sustainability is really key. There's plenty of sessions. So the future of conferences for us is all about personalization. So you could spend the whole two days in sustainability themed discussions if you so chose to. There's workshops, there's an interview stage, there's major panels. JSA TV will be there again as well. So if you wanted to fill up your whole 48 hours full of ESG and sustainability, you, you could certainly do so. We've got fantastic speakers on it from, as I say, the Googles and the Microsofts and the, and the Climate Accord champions, from Ellen Yang at Prime, Kristen Fletcher from BP, Kindra Matone at Nautilus, Danielle Rossi at Train. We've, we're going to be packing out that that main stage with a lot of your clients as well of course are taking part so uh yeah we, we could be talking about sustainability for for the 48 hours if if we so decide well, 48 days it sounds like with that all star lineup <laughs> <laughs> but okay so we uh we started talking about virginia uh let's bring it back home again if you will at least for me uh what are some of the key challenges facing the data center industry for those who might not know in that Virginia region and how are they being addressed at this year's event? Yeah, it's actually really closely linked to ESG. So, so, so power and, and the densification caused by the AI workloads is, is a huge theme this year. 
again, off the back of Yotta, off the back of OCP, off the back of DCD Connect London, where we had you guys with this as well. It isn't surprising. But at Virginia, where you have demand at such a level and Dominion Power heavily, heavily involved in these discussions as well, who, who are joining us in Virginia too, it's heightened, isn't it? And the, the, the challenge becomes even more difficult because you're in data center alley, you're, you're at the home of data centers. So again, we welcome the discourse. We, we, we want to create a balanced argument and a nuanced argument here. And how, how do you reconcile these two seemingly incongruous things of AI demand, creating almost hockey stick like curves in terms of the CAGA requirements for data centers and sustainability, it's, it seems a challenge and, you know, in-person networking is, is key to solving it. We've got to break down those traditional silos. We've got to break down the tribalism that we've maybe historically seen between data center operators, energy providers, and, and, and collaborate. And it's going to require collaboration to find the solutions because they're going to be complex and, and they're going to be nuanced. So well said, Dan. Um, you know, with, with AI driving the need for more data centers, more, more energy consumption right now, you know, it's, it's discourses that we get at DCD and other really unique, amazing events like Yada, DCD, the, the list goes on. Uh, but we need, we need more. We need more space power access, but we also need to do it right. Um, so, you know, that's, those are two different roads often, right? Doing it and doing it right. We need to choose the right path with sustainability in mind. And so conversations like you're having right now are so critical for us and our, our human development. Uh, so I, I, I couldn't uh, praise you more for what you're doing for our industry. I, I so appreciate this uh, and for our, our clients, our industry to be involved in these types of conversations. It's, it's just, uh, it's, it's necessary. So thank you. Uh, now, I'm going to ask you as a CEO to put on put on your your visionary cap. Oh, you already have it on. Uh, so, how do you see the data center industry really evolving in the next three to five years? What does it look like, and how how does DCD Connect really help our industry leaders prepare for those changes? Yeah, it's a great question. If if I knew the answer to that, I'd I'd be a very very rich man. I mean, we, we've actually recently launched, maybe six months ago, um, DCD's intelligence arm. So as a first party publisher, you know, we started life as a publisher for this industry nearly 25 years ago, we're actually 25 next year, right at the start of the internet age. And so it sat on a huge amount of behavioral data, which really does reflect the way that the industry's changed in terms of its growth and its priorities and its focus. And when, when you're talking about forecasting and projections, I think the work of analysts gets harder and harder because the, the impact of AI is you just said it's so unknown. And so even with all of our first party data, even syndicating data with some of our partners and, and you know some of the big industry providers to try and see, well, actually, what's happening to cooling demand and how are we looking at the sales of lithium ion batteries versus, you know, type X, type Y. To do that more than 36 months in advance is getting more and more difficult. Um, and so, again, it comes back to, to the people and the collaboration at the heart of it. Um, and it's part of the reason we actually launched the DCD intelligence arm to try and forecast in a, in a more accurate way with all of those behavioral insights that we have. When it comes to Virginia and, and what do attendees want out of conference experiences, of course, it's partly that content. And we touched a little bit on, on the topics and the speakers. I think in a world where we're hybrid working and, and we're sat in a virtual studio again today, it's also those water cooler conversations that are maybe getting missed, the, the osmosis that comes from being together in a, in a collaborative environment. So in Virginia in particular, we've really worked hard to try and keep the event at the heart of Data Center Alley at, at the Lansdowne Resort, as, as you said in your intro. And that really facilitates a lot of peer networking and exchange type environments and activities. So we've got a pickleball tournament, we've got a golf tournament, we're doing some sunrise yoga, we're doing some 5k runs. So people can network in ways that suit them and not just, you know, the typical buy sell dynamic that's obviously important to every conference, but that peer exchange is so key as well. Um, so we're trying to facilitate that in lots of different ways. Of course, you can expect the the wine tastings and the icebreaker parties and some of those more typical conference networking type activities as well. But 
I'll be doing my best on the 5K. I'll be doing my best in the golf and, and we'll see how we get on. I'll be doing my best at the wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Dan. We so appreciate you coming on and sharing your insider tips for really how we can make the most of our time while attending DCD Connect Virginia 2024 in just a couple of weeks from now. So, um, so much to do. So, uh, so this planning is critical to make sure we're maximizing our 48 hours together. Yeah, yeah and, and at risk of repeating all, all of your other partners who come on and do the night before you go event organizers love talking about it. We've got the networking app. It gets released a couple of weeks before the event goes live. Do go on there. It's going to be a sellout. There's going to be 1,500 plus attendees packed into the Lansdowne. Set up your one-to-one -one meetings. Do connect on the platform. We've only got two days. Let, let's fully optimize it. Yeah, absolutely. I I can't, I, I, I sort of, this is silly, but I, I, <laughs> couldn't imagine going to, especially an event like DCD and not pre-planning my meetings ahead of time. Like what? What? Because by the time you're there, it, like you, everyone's in meetings and then you're, what are you doing? Walking around going, oh, I should have been in that meeting. <laughs> you know, like, so make sure, make sure you, you put in the work now to maximize those two days uh, in Virginia. All right, guys, let's get to it. Get all those details to prepare for DCD Connect Virginia by visiting, and you see the URL right below us, datacenterdynamics.com slash DCD hyphen connect hyphen live. And during that conference week, be sure to use hashtag DCD Connect to stay up to date on everything that's going on socially. Uh, we also have a QR code. I get nervous. Yeah, this way. Uh, here on the screen, it's always reverse. Here on the screen to make it just a little easier to get to your event page. So go ahead and and, uh, and scan that and it'll get right to the page you want. All right. Complimentary passes for co-location providers are also available. Thanks, guys, for the great partnership, DCD. So go ahead and use code. This is a big one. JSA. Got to remember that one. Use code JSA and uh, the second special Colo only QR code that just popped up on the screen. So uh, we love that. Thank you for that great partnership and for always being so um, just amazing by gathering the right people at the right time for the right discussions for our industry. Dan, we so appreciate you. Pleasure. Thank you for the support as always. Thanks for having me back on um, to talk a little bit more with you and use the code JSA. You get your free pass. Thanks for the partnership, guys. Love, love working with you. Love working with you too. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Know Before You Go. And as always, happy networking.